Hey, today on Boom, we get a live demo from the head of collaboration, real title, at Mural on how she kicks off all of her meetings using her own collaboration technology. Let's go. Hey, welcome to Boom. This is a show about innovations and the tech stack. I'm Ben, I'm the CEO of Splash. Splash is event marketing software for your live, virtual, and hybrid events. And today, we discuss how we begin, how we start, how we kick it off. Do, do you have a tradition that you use to open up your virtual meeting or your virtual event? If I want my guests to engage, or to connect, or to be curious, I have about 300 seconds to make that happen. Remember, when someone logs into your virtual event, they have six browser tabs open, five tasks on their mind, four other meetings that day, three cups of coffee coursing through their veins, two kids screaming in the other room, and about one minute before they tune out and never look back. So you need to help them shake all that off and you have to do it fast. Remember, the average adult has about an attention span of eight seconds. So let's, let's just feel what that feels like, ready? One. Okay, sorry, I'm bored. Let's, let's keep on going, let's keep on rolling. At Splash, we have a tradition of everyone taking five breaths before we begin any meeting. <sighs> five times. But at Mural, they have a rule. Always begin meetings with an icebreaker. Well, not just any icebreaker. They have three different types of icebreakers that they try to kick things off. So I kind of differentiate between warm-ups, icebreakers, and energizers. I would define icebreakers as short activities that make people feel more at ease and get to know each other better quickly. Um, but it doesn't single out anybody, so everybody's kind of playing on the same field. And warm-ups, I feel, are, are they can be very similar, but maybe they're less about getting to know each other as people, but maybe um, it's more about getting to know like your mood that day. So when you already know the group of people, you might use a warm up, for example, with your team, um, because you, you already know them, but you just kind of want to know like what's on their mind or what is what is weird about them or something like that, right? Um, or it's, it might as well be a game, but it's not so much focused on them as a person. But maybe it's like a like a race or something like that, um, or a competition. And a, an energizer, I tend to think of those as activities that you would do in the middle of a longer session. So maybe you've had a lunch break, people are coming back, they're having a bit of a food coma, you know, and they're kind of like, oh, I'm not really ready for the session now. So you start with a kind of fast paced energizer. It's like, all right, everybody get up, you know, like get up from your seat and we're gonna do this energizer. And, um, and then we're ready to start. And it kind of gets people more like buzzing again. That's Lila. She runs collaboration at Mural, and in a moment, she's going to demo some of their top icebreakers on her own technology. But first, let me tell you what Mural is. Mural is a next generation, collaborative, simple, real-time whiteboard. And their mission is to power up imagination workers globally. They want to make remote collaboration work. And you can use Mural to drive conversations, to brainstorm, to pull your audience. Well, as you can imagine, at Mural, they use Mural at the beginning of their meetings to host icebreakers and get everything started. I had the honor of joining their team as they showed me their four favorite icebreakers using Mural. And I think if you watch this, you'll get a sense of what their technology does and the way they think about kicking off meetings. All right, let's kick things off. What we're going to do today, it's the would you rather. Basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two options and then you vote for what you would rather choose out of these two options if you had to choose one of these things. And then when we show the results, I like kind of selecting people to let me know why they picked that. So we'll start with the first one. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? All right, we have quite a few yellers here, which is interesting because actually we have a yelling channel um, in our Slack. <laughs> Would you rather have the power to instantly put people in awkward situations or would you rather have the power to immediately remove yourself from awkward situations? And this is gonna be very telling on how people <laughs> think. So we're going to move on to the magic beanstalks. What we wanna do here is a warm up to see how tall people are. And the reason why this is a great icebreaker actually 
for a big team and people who have never met before, especially in these COVID times where we're hiring new people, is that we just see people on Zoom, like, you know, that big, we see, I, I see your face, Jesse. I have no idea, you know, like how tall or short, it's just kind of interesting. I love doing this with many people because then you can really start also like ordering people, putting them in order from like smallest to tallest. The mystery cards. So you see here, you have quite a few cards with different icons on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a voting session. Beneath each card, there's a question. And then it becomes a kind of conversation, discussion around this question. Ooh, Daniela, nice one. You did Mary Poppins. Yeah, I, that's actually me on a Zoom call because I went to work uh, like that. You flew out the window. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was the plan, but you know, that didn't feel so safe, so. What's the first music album you bought? This is a really good one because some people are super embarrassed. If you do this with many people, this one's a fun one to then make an embarrassing playlist. Sketch your neighbor. We're going to use the pen tool here. And what you're going to do without telling anybody, you're just going to look at the grid on Zoom and you're going to pick somebody that you are going to draw. And who are you drawing, Tony? That's Ben. Oh, that's Ben. <laughs> Do you like the halo? He has like the pink light. I was trying to capture that. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks to the mural team for showing off their awesome tech and their cool ideas for kicking off meetings. I hope you also found that inspirational and that you're going to start every meeting with something thoughtful, personal, and creative. Okay, that's it for us on Boom. I hope you got a lot of inspiration today and come check us out next time as we explore the innovation explosion in the virtual event tech stack. See you then.